Hello everyone. First of all, let me just address. I know I look like a toddler. Um, I don't know how to style my hair lately and I didn't really feel like washing it because it is like second day hair and I just decided to put it into little pigtails. So let's ignore that. Today, I want to talk to you guys about some makeup items that I used to love and now I never reach for. I don't like them. I feel like I have found more gems lately, so I don't really reach for these things anymore. I'm going to be sharing those with you, hopefully help you guys out if you come across these products. Don't buy them. <laughs> That's kind of harsh. <laughs> and again, the first thing I want to talk about is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Unfortunately, I bought two shades and now I fully regret my decision. I don't like this anymore and that is very sad because I love e.l.f. an amazing brand. But I just don't like how this wears throughout the day. My skin just looks very dry, patchy after several hours of wearing this. I'm not going to say like after 10 hours because obviously there's no foundation that holds up that well throughout the day. But for this one personally, it just applies beautifully. But after a couple of hours, it just looks really bad on me. I feel like I've heard other people say the same thing about this. So it's just not very long wearing. But if you're looking to wear something on your skin for like a couple of hours maybe, then... I mean, this would work, but why would you want to put the time if you're just going to end up taking it off after two hours? I just don't think it's worth it. I was very sad about this because... Sorry, Elf. I really... I love you. <laughs> thing I want to mention is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. So this is super, super, super popular and overhyped. And I used to love this liner for when I started like learning how to do my wing and stuff like that because I felt like it was so easy to work with. I felt like it was pigmented. But now, after I look back, I'm like, you know, it just... I mean, it applies well on your hand and stuff, but I don't think it wears that well. I feel like I'm using my Urban Decay Brow Blade for my wings lately and that lasts me all day and I can't complain. I know it's a brow product, but I just feel like it wears better than the tattoo liner. Also, I bought the shade brown after using the shade black for a few years and I don't know, I just feel like I feel like they changed their formula maybe. I could be wrong about this or maybe I'm just getting defective ones, but I don't think I have that bad of look to be getting defective ones every single time. So I don't know. There's something about this I just don't like anymore and I will not be repurchasing it. The next thing I want to talk about is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer and I have used this in several of my videos but I don't know why I feel like it's just not showing up on my skin anymore. Maybe it's like the shade although it is a little bit too like red for me. I just don't think it's that pigmented and you can't really see it on my face so I reach for my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer way more than this one now and I really try to love it. I try to wear it on top of several different foundations. Maybe like that was the problem. I don't know. But now I just feel like I don't reach for it. Undertone, now that I look at it, it's just like way too red. Like can you see it? It's way too warm and I like something a little bit more like orange and sunset -y. You know what I mean? Like matte give me sun type of thing like that. So I don't really reach for this one anymore product I want to talk about is actually not a new release but I used to love this highlight this one's also we got another Urban Decay item I really love Urban Decay Afterglow highlighter honestly this was so popular when it came out I feel like it came out like kind of same time as this one but this one it looks kind of chalky let me just show you it look like glittery like chunky I don't know it just doesn't look like natural like a natural glow I'm wearing the cookie highlighter by benefit today and it just doesn't look natural it looks like you have like a stripe of white highlight on your face and I just don't really use this anymore it accentuates my texture it just doesn't look like a natural glow you know like you don't want to look like you're wearing makeup even though you're wearing like five layers you know thing I want to talk about, this is a very famous product by e.l.f. as well and I'm sorry e.l.f. I'm not trying to like talk-ish about you in my channel because I really love you but the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, I don't like it. I'm not really sure I got like a wrong shade but the last time I wore this and it might be expired also, maybe I should try another one but I'm still gonna mention it because I really I had a really bad experience. The last time I wore this, I actually wore it with no foundation. I applied it on spots that I wanted to cover and I just blended it out and then when I looked in the mirror, like I, I applied this with natural daylight. When I went inside and I looked in the mirror, you could see like the spots of concealer that were just setting on my skin. It just never blended out and it looked orange. So I don't know what happened. Maybe this is an expired tube. I don't know, but I love their hydrating camel concealer so much better than this one. It just blends so much seamlessly than this one, so much smoother. I don't know. The regular camo concealer, I'm just not a fan of. I don't think it blends into the skin as natural as the hydrating camo concealer. So I'm going to have to give this one a pass.
thing I want to talk about another overhyped viral makeup product. These are the NYX Shine Loud lipsticks, and these are popular and famous because they last on your lips for a long time. But after wearing them a few times, I realized, yeah, they don't come off, but they end up like very uncomfortable on and drying on your lips because it just feels and looks like there's like a layer of lipstick on you. It doesn't look like you're just like naturally naturally wearing lipstick that's not a thing i don't know how to describe it but also such a pain to take off like i have to go in with a sugar scrub to take these off at night and it's just yeah they wear throughout the day and they don't come off but they end up looking so like rusty on your lips i guess is the word i'm looking for and then to take it off is just such a pain so i used to love these the first couple of days but then after wearing them for a long time i'm like it's not worth it like yeah i don't mind reapplying lipstick a couple of times a day if it's gonna look beautiful but it's just if it's just gonna look chunky and crusty on your lips then i don't want it so sorry nyx i still love you but these lipsticks i mean i don't know if you put super glue on these but it's just not worth it i go in with the scrub and scrub your lips every single time you wear these i cannot i just can't this is why i don't wear waterproof mascara because i have to go in with an oil three times and when i'm tired at night i don't want to spend an hour taking my makeup off just a little rant. <laughs> I want to talk about these Eyler Pro Magnetic Lash System. So I actually tried these on on my channel a couple of months ago and I used to really like them and I did try to wear them like more than once just so I could really get like the feel of them and now I realize they're just very uncomfortable on your eyes. I could never get myself to like them fully because it's a great system but i'm not really sure what it is about the band it's just, it just feels uncomfortable like you know you're wearing lashes i know there's several other lashes where you wear them and you can't feel them but i want to feel like when i'm wearing lashes like i'm not wearing anything but these i just feel are so uncomfortable yeah they do last on your eyes a few hours but i i would just prefer going in with like the regular lash glue and you know having to deal with that these i just don't think are that comfortable on your eyes and when i'm applying lashes i am looking for comfort so yeah i'm gonna have to give these a pass also they don't really show up on my eyes they're just very natural i'm not really sure if they have like other styles that i could try maybe i should look into those but i'm just not a fan of that magnetic lash system <laughs> and the last product i want to talk about is actually a two Faced semi-sweet chocolate bar palette so i used to be like this was like my first big purchase bought when i was like i don't know a teenager that wasn't that long ago <laughs> i still love this chocolate bar palette because first of all it smells like chocolate and second of all like it was just everybody had to have it it was just like that thing back then but now when i look at the shades there is one shade in here that i like now as an adult i'm like what did i see in this palette that wasn't the chocolate smell and it was just that peanut butter shade right here maybe like the hot fudge to like put it in the crease or whatever but the, it has glitter in it so i'm like there's not one shade in here besides that peanut butter one that i would actually wear so the black is a good black actually i'm not gonna lie but i wouldn't buy a palette and this was pricey back in the day like for me it was a lot because i was like very young and i would save up to buy makeup and this overhyped you know i mean it's not hyped now but it used to be overhyped now i look back and i'm like why did i buy you i don't ever reach for this i just like the smell but i, I mean the packaging is pretty cute but if you're not going to use it don't buy it so this is my rant for the day i really hope you enjoy maybe helped you out a little bit if you were looking into trying any of these and hopefully you found my review helpful i don't know just feeling filmy today and i wanted to talk to you guys about anything so anyways thank you guys so much for being here today i really appreciate all your love and support if you like this video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up so i can continue to make them and don't forget to subscribe before you leave i do post once to twice a week <laughs> guys again so much for being here and i'll see you on my next video bye